YouTube? Welcome to Pipes and Guitars, where I like to talk about my two loves, pipes and guitars. <laughs> so today, this is a video I've been wanting to do for a while. This is going to be my top five non-aromatic tobaccos. My favorite top five. Like I said in my last video on my top five aromatic tobaccos, I'm a little tardy to the party when it comes to the YTPC, but, but, I want to give my top five recommendations for English blends, and these are subject to change. <laughs> Always in search of something newer, better tasting. So here in my Rossi Rubino 8320, I have some GLP's Quiet Nights. I did the Crack in the Tin episode. That will be released this Wednesday, so stay tuned for that. So we're just going to rock it through these, and I'll tell you a little bit about each tobacco. Number five, Cornell and Deal's Pirate Cake. Let me read you the tin description. A smooth, robust blend with lots, 75% of exceptional Latakia, accompanied by Turkish and Burley. Pirate Cake by Cornell and Deal is a, is a Latakia lover's treasure. So it comes in a crumble cake, and I still have the brownie here. A little bit so you can kind of see that. Been smoking on that. But I gotta say, this is my number five English blend. It is fantastic. You would not think with this much Latakia that it would be that it wouldn't be overpowering, but this is not overpowering at all. It comes out very smooth, great smoke. Actually, and it comes in an easy crumble cake. I'm normally bad with flakes and cakes because you know I don't crumble them right, but this one crumbles really easy. Crumble it out, put, put it in the pipe, smoke it. You will be happy. Number four, Boswell's Northwoods. Let me read you some of the tin description here. Uh, full body and full flavor, a deeply complex English, but with a smooth and mild base of Latakia along with toasted Virginias. J.M. had blended Northwoods for himself to smoke, but then his customers started asking him what he was smoking, and the answer was, have a bowl. Northwoods has become one of our most popular English blends. Uh, now, I say that's the, that's the tin description. However, you're probably more likely to get this in bulk, but that's okay. Let me show you the, uh, the blend here. Beautiful. So here we have Black Cavendish Latakia in Virginia. Uh, one of my favorite English blends. Smells like toasted marshmallows. Smokes like toasted marshmallows. So if you haven't tried Boswell's Northwoods, you need to give it a shot. Number three. Number three is Hearth and Homes Black House. Could not believe this made my number three, but it sure did. I've been with this for about a couple weeks, and, you know, our, our taste changes we go on. Well, I must be into Balkan blends or something right now because I really like this. This is my favorite Balkan and my number three non-aromatic tobacco. The tin description says, a winning blend from the Chicago Land Pipe Show 2011. Virginia, Kentucky, Balkans, Turkish, and some Black Cavendish. And let me tell you, it is really, really good. Everything you'd expect from a Balkan blend has that barbecue-y kind of smoky taste. Let's have a look at the tobacco. There it is. And man, the aroma just wafts out of this tin, hits you in the face. Mmm. Yes. So if you haven't checked out my musical tobacco review on, uh, on Hearth and Home's Black House, you need to check that out. I'll put a link at the end of the video for you to check that out. It's really cool. The music I wrote to this, I really like. So check it out. Number two! Number two surprised me. <laughs> I thought number two was going to be number one. But when you're really thinking about it and really considering it and really looking at what I smoke on a day-to-day -day basis, I had to make it number two. It was going to be number one, but I think it has to be number two. This is Esoterica's Margate. <laughs> Fantastic English blend. Can't say enough good things about this. Let me read you the tin description. A classical English mixture done in the old style of many of the fine tobaccos that have now disappeared from the marketplace. Choice orientals and generous quantities of premium Cyprian Latakia keynote this rich, full-bodied blend, a well-balanced, robust, and eminently satisfying smoke. This is Esoterica's uh, Margate by J.F. Germain and Son. Very hard to get. I came by... I came across eight ounces of it. Love the stuff. It hasn't made number one yet, but it may one day because it is so good. It's in this shag cut. Really fine, chopped up pieces of tobacco. And it smokes really well, but it packs 
uh, really tight, so you have to be careful not to pack this too tight because the tobacco is a shag cut that can pack really too, too tight too easily. But Margate, fantastic, really good, well worth looking for and trying to get. So if you haven't tried Margate, go put your name on the waiting list <laughs> and try to get some. It's a little hard to find, but when you do, you'll be happy. Number one! <sighs> one that's really special to me. I ordered it uh, in a sampler. Came in a sampler, along with this other tobacco that I wanted to try. And when I smoked this, this turned out to be one of my favorites. And I immediately ordered more out of the sampler. And I didn't realize how much of a favorite it was until I thought back on all the times that I've smoked it. In the past month, two months, I smoke it driving, I smoke it when I'm working. This is my everyday smoker. So I have to say this is my number one non-aromatic tobacco, which is Boswell's Countryside. Oh yeah. So let me read you the 10 description of Countryside. Countryside is our medium English blend of Virginia base with a lot of Kia and select Orientals. It is the delicious smooth bodied blend with no tongue bite, a wonderful balance for an enjoyable all day smoke. Uh, and in here you will find Black Cavendish, Latakia, Oriental Turkish, and Virginias. And it does have some kind of flavoring, some kind of casing on it, which I am fine with. Because whatever they do to this tobacco makes it awesome. They basically sprinkle it with awesome. There you go. That is Boswell's Countryside. It says the flavoring they use is some of alcohol liqueur. It's in a great ribbon cut. Smokes really well. Tastes really great. And uh, does not bite your tongue. You couldn't ask more from an English blend. Uh, so that is my number one non-aromatic tobacco. If you have not had Countryside, Margate, uh, Hearth and Homes, Black House, Northwoods, or Pirate Cake by Corn Island Deal, you need to go out and try these immediately. I will put links in the description to where you can buy all of these. All right, so that is my top five non-aromatic tobaccos. Do you agree with me? If you do, let me know. If you don't, let me know what's better. I'd love to try it. If you like what you've seen here, please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel. We'd love to have you on board here at Pipes and Guitars. Channel's growing a little bit every day. So anyway, that's it for my top five non-aromatic tobaccos. Remember, love life, smoke a pipe, and keep on picking. I'll see you next time. All right, you made it all the way to the end of the video. Congratulations. <laughs> I do something called musical tobacco reviews. Maybe you're interested in that. I'll put one of those right there for you to try. And I also do another thing called Cracking the Tin episodes. I'm going to put one of those right there for you to check out. So if you haven't hit that subscribe button or the like button, please go ahead and do that. That would help out the channel a lot. And I'll see you next time. Yes.